Cable supported bridge truss. Uh, very similar to a uh, board exam. Okay, welcome back to Ilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. All right, so we have here a cable supported bridge truss. Very similar to uh, one, or uh, I think this came out twice already in the board exam. Okay, so here is the problem. The parabolic cable supports the truss shown. The support at hinge uh, at C is hinged and at E is roller. Okay, and then D is a pin. So meron tayo ditong joint D. Uh, it's a pin connected. So dalawang trusses. Supported by a roller and a hinge and the parabolic. It was uh, specified this is a parabolic cable. So meaning the hangers here are equally loaded. To keep this in parabolic shape, so uh, it must be that the loads here are all equal. Dimensions are given. A is uh, 3.5 meters. B, B, B here are 3.2 meters. P1 is 96.3 kilonewtons. And P2 is uh, 55.4 kilonewtons. The questions, the tension at F, which is the lowest part of the cable where the tangent is zero, and then the maximum tension in the cable, well, of course, it, it will occur at the highest point of the cable. And then the vertical uh, reaction at the pin, at D, and the total reaction at A. Okay, so this is our problem. Okay, so let's put the dimensions in the figure. Okay, so how will we start? How will you do this? What are the principles in this problem? Okay, uh, these are the principles here. Take note that this is parabolic cable. So meaning by symmetry, the tension at A and the tension at B are the same. Another, for a cable, for any cable, flexible cable, the horizontal reactions at each support at A and at B are equal no matter if they have this different elevation no? and because this is symmetrical then equal yung kanilang mga tensions all right so the dimensions so 3.5 so this will be 6 8 21 meters 21 meters okay let's solve the reaction uh, let's identify first the reactions we have the reaction at e uh, let's call it e vertical the reaction at c c vertical and we also have the horizontal reaction at c so we do not know yet the direction. Let's assume it's going to the right. So we have our CH. And then the reactions at A and at B. So I have mentioned earlier that these reactions are equal because of symmetry, and this is parabolic cable. The tensions are equal, symmetrical sila. So your V here, the same, and your H and H high here are also equal. All right, so we have, if you count the number of unknowns, we have one, two, three. Four, five. There are five external reactions unknown: HV, EV, CV, and CH. So theoretically, we need five equations. Let's start. Okay, let's start with moment at C. Summation of moment about C equals zero. So we have ninety-six point three times uh, three point five times three. That's ten point five. Okay, plus fifty-five point four times okay that will be 3.5 times 1 2 3 4 5 that's 17.5 okay okay these are the clockwise the counterclockwise uh okay let's combine ev and v here so equals the counterclockwise ev plus v the moment arm is 42 meters okay 21 and 21 42 meters all right now h and h here cancels out so your h uh, will cause no moment because these two are equal and they have the same distance then it will cancel out the v here is or oh, will pass through c so it will not cause any moment okay now from this equation we have we can solve the combined value of v and ev so v plus ev equals 47.158 kilonewtons all right so you can check on that okay so that's our first equation 
Okay, I told, uh, I mentioned kanina that we have five unknowns here. So we still have four equations more to go. Let's see what, what we can do. Now take note that pin D is, uh, D is a pin, so there's no moment here. And a cable has no moment. Now let's cut a section through F, vertical section through F. Of course, by symmetry, it will pass through D. And let's look to the right of that section. Okay, here it is. We cut a cross section through F and D. So what we see is only the right side. And the forces that can be seen on the right side, we have the EV, the V, and the H. And of course, here, the tension here. And take note. I mentioned Garina that for cables, all the horizontal component of uh, at any point of the cable, the horizontal component of the force are all the same. So if that the horizontal component here is H, the horizontal component as F is also H. It is true sa lahat ng cable, right? Okay. So of course the reactions at D, meron tayong dalawa kasi pinya, no? So we have DV and DH. Okay. So na let's try. Let's take moment about D. Let's not use summation of process vertical horizontal because there will be additional unknown that will be that will appear. So let's take advantage of the moment at D that will eliminate DV and D8. All right. So taking moment about D zero. So what do we have? Okay, we have okay uh, the counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise. Ito. So EB plus V. Let's combine the two. The moment arm is twenty one. All right. Okay. Uh, equals the clockwise. The clockwise is H times 9.6 and then minus H times 6.4. I just separated the H on the other side. Okay? So that's it. Now, what do we have here? Okay, I mentioned there are five unknowns, but look at here. Look at this. We have here I hope you get this one. Huh? The H times 9.6 is H times 9.6. This H times 6.4 is here. Okay. So, look, the value of V plus EV is already known from here. Okay. Then we can substitute that. Then, must solve natin yung H. So, H the horizontal component of the tension. And that's also the, the, the force at F. So, we actually we already have the answer for part one. Uh, 309.5, 309.47. Okay, so we are now have the value of H. Okay, did you get it? So next, the maximum tension in the cable, which is here. Uh, the tension at the highest support. Okay, how will you solve that? Okay, there is a principle here. And this is parabolic. Uh, take note, if you have watched uh, my video on uh, parabolic curve, I have a property mentioned there that if two tangents are drawn in a parabola, they always meet halfway. Okay, look, H is tangent to the parabola at F, T is tangent to the parabola at F. If we intersect the two, it will meet here at L over 2, just like in parabolic cable. Okay, so this is point, this point is 21. No? At 21, so this is 10.5, 10.5. So that point there. So this is therefore 10.5. And this is 9.6 and 6.4. This is 3.2. So therefore, we can solve the direction of T. This theta here is the direction of T. Tangent of theta is 3.2 divided by 10.5. Then I can get the value of theta. Did you get that? Okay. That's a property of parabola. We're taking advantage of that. Parabolic curve, the same property. That's always the property of parabola. If you draw two tangents, the tangents will meet at halfway, midway between those points. Okay, we already have the value of theta. Then we can also solve the value of t. Okay, so we have cosine here in this triangle. Cosine of theta is h over t then I can now solve, we, I already have the value of H and theta is already known, we can now solve the value of T. Okay, T is equal to H over cosine theta and that's 323.52. All right, so that's letter C. All right, actually we can now solve everything here. So we have our T, what's the next problem? The vertical reaction at D. 
Okay? So we cannot apply summation of process vertical zero. Summation of process vertical zero, take note, EV and V are already known. No? So we have DV, EV plus V plus DV equals zero. All the vertical process equals zero. We already have our EV plus V. Okay? EV plus V is 47.158. So therefore, your DV is equal to 47.158. We got a negative sign. So meaning our assumption here is wrong. No? So anyway, the magnitude is the same. So this is downward should be. It should be downward. So your reaction at, D, at V, the vertical is downward. And we can also see here because H and H are the same. So your DH is zero. There is no horizontal reaction here. This is zero. All right, so your DV should be done right, so 47.2. Then the final question is the total reaction at A. The total reaction at A is actually the tension in the cable. And the tension is T, the same with the reaction at B. All right, so the reaction at A is the tension also, and that is 323.5, okay? Okay, so I hope you learned a lot from this uh, video. So please, uh, you can rewind the video if you have uh, questions. No? So I hope you learned a lot. So please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, please click the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have a new, new videos. Thank you so much.